Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm Steph, I'm a former secret slob, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I have learned to deep clean my bathroom using all the best, fastest, and easiest tips, tricks, and hacks. I used to avoid cleaning my bathroom at all costs because it was so much work and in the end my bathroom would just be disgusting. At one point I didn't clean my shower for a whole year. Yes, it's embarrassing, but it's true. Now that I've got it figured out how to keep it clean, it's so much easier. Let's get started. The first thing I do when I come into the bathroom is get all of the laundry out of there. I use bath mats that can be thrown right into the washing machine and I grab all the washcloths and then take all of the soaps and shampoos and stuff out of the shower, out of the bathtub. Now this part is a little bit of prep work for later, just making things easier. I spray my whole shower down, you can see it's glass, with a vinegar and dish soap mixture. Now I know you've probably seen that a lot of people use Dawn dish soap and I'm going to tell you a little secret. You don't have to use Dawn. I use regular dish soap, literally whatever I have on hand and it works just the same. Now I'm going to prep my bathtub and one thing I found is that when you try to just use a cloth right away there's always all this hair and stuff at the bottom so if I use my vacuum with this little brush head attachment to suck up all the hair and dust and dirt it's so much easier to just wipe down. Next, I'm gonna spray it with the exact same mixture that I used in my shower, so it's just regular kitchen vinegar and a little bit of dish soap. Make sure that you test this on any surfaces you're using it on before you get started. I don't want anything wrecking anybody's bathtubs, and I certainly don't use it on grout or tiled areas because the vinegar will eat away the grout. So only on glass or acrylics, um, things like that. Once I have my shower sprayed down and my bathtub sprayed down, I'm going to let that sit for at least 10 to 15 minutes. This lets that vinegar or soap mixture do the work. And then while I'm waiting, I'm going to start from the top of the room and work my way down and dust all of the surfaces. So this includes vacuuming out my window sills. As you can see, I'm still using my little brush head attachment. And then wiping down all of the cupboards and the light fixtures, top of the mirrors, places like that. So the mixture of cleaning solution I use for this is just a mostly water, a few teaspoons of dish soap, just any brand will work. And then I always use a couple drops of essential oil, either lemon or orange or something like that, just to make it smell nice. Any place where there's extra dust built up, I like using that vacuum brush head attachment. So this is a new trick I've learned recently. I've always used my vacuum to clean out my drawers when I'm decluttering, but I saw if you use that brush head in the bathroom, it just cuts the time that you are working so much because you're not just pushing dust around on all these porcelain surfaces. I know if you've ever tried to wipe down a dusty surface in your bathroom, you're just pushing hair and dust and stuff around. So most vacuums come with this attachment, but if yours didn't, they are like 10 bucks on Amazon. I'll link to the one that I have below, but just make sure it'll fit your vacuum head. No need to spend a lot of money, but it makes a huge difference. Okay, so now my shower and bathtub have been sitting with that vinegar soap mixture on them for about 15, maybe 20 minutes. And so I'm gonna come in and wipe it all down. And you can see it comes off really easily. I do bring my water vinegar mixture spray in there to just kind of wet the surface again. And then the cloth that I like using the most to clean the surface is just a little dollar store cloth with Elsa on it and it's like, those little washcloths you can get that come really tight, you put them in water and they expand. These things are like a dollar. My kids love them, but they're really scratchy to use as washcloths, so I use them in the bathroom to clean because they're really abrasive, because they're so scratchy and cheap. So if you don't have one of those, just any old rag will work. And trust me, just letting that vinegar and soap mixture sit on the glass or on your porcelain or acrylic tub or shower will just cut the grease and cut all that lime and scale and you can just wipe it right down. Once I've got the inside all wiped down and squeegeed out, I'm gonna just do the outside glass with a water and vinegar mixture. Also, I make it myself. I use a lot of um, natural products, not just because I find they're safer, but because they're cheaper and I am really cheap. And also I have little kids and so the less harsh chemicals we have in our house, the less chance they're gonna get into them and hurt themselves. So I find this stuff works really well and that's what I use. 
So same thing in the bathtub, I just use a diluted water vinegar mixture to just quickly dampen the surface again so that I can wipe it all down. I usually use my extra scratchy Elsa washcloth to give it a first wipe and then once that's all done I come in with a polishing cloth. This one is Norwex brand but you can use pretty much any brand and just give it a really nice polish up. The other thing I like about this is I don't have to worry too much about rinsing the bathtub out really well because we're not using crazy chemicals. I just give it a quick swish before I get in or my kids get in. So I really don't like using a lot of chemicals in the bath especially because I have to make sure it's rinsed super well since you're going to be filling it up with water and soaking your body in there. Okay, so my shower's not done yet. The first thing I'm gonna do is vacuum this inside part. I can't use the vinegar mixture on the tile because of the grout and it will eat the grout. So I'm just gonna use this Lysol all-purpose spray. This isn't something I've used before. I bought it um, during the COVID-19 pandemic because I needed something to disinfect surfaces. So this is just the only thing they had at the store, but I do find it works really well at cutting all the grease. And so I'm gonna use gloves to use this product, but I do like it and it definitely saves me some time time. I don't think I'll probably buy it again, but just because I like to use more natural stuff in my house. But as long as we're disinfecting things, I'll just have to keep buying something like this. The last thing I do in the shower is the floor and I just kind of work my way out backwards, getting all the little nooks and crannies, trying to get it all wiped out. If you tackle this every month consistently, it won't take that long. This shower takes forever because it's all glass and tile and I kind of regret building this. I probably would never do this kind of shower again just because it shows the dirt and the calcium deposits so badly. All right, so I've worked my way all the way down to the floor of the bathroom. I'm going to do a really quick vacuum, get all that hair and dust up. I love this marble, faux marble floor because it really hides a lot of that stuff, but once I start vacuuming, wow, it really shows up. So it's good to get that done. And I just use a soft brush head vacuum and get it all vacuumed up before I start mopping. That way I'm not just pushing dirt and dust and hair around. The last thing I'm gonna do is quickly finish wiping down these cabinets. I had all the soap and stuff resting on here, so I'm gonna give them a really quick wipe. And then I'm going to do my daily swish and swipe. So the daily swish and swipe is something that I do you know, as often as I can, I tackle one bathroom in my house every day and use um, my diluted vinegar and water mixture with a paper towel and I just give the countertops a really quick spray, wipe down the faucets, wipe down the insides of the sink. And if you do this every day or, you know, every few days, you'll find you don't have to clean your bathroom sinks. They always sparkle. I use paper towel because then I can bring it right into the toilet, give the toilet a wipe, swish out the inside of the toilet, and we are good. The last part of cleaning my bathroom is giving the floors a really good mop. I use a diluted soap, water, and essential oil mixture to do this and my little trick that I have is to spray the floor and then just mop behind yourself. Don't have to bring a bucket, don't have to fill it with soapy water. I like this little flathead mop that I use, it kind of swivels. This one is Norwex brand as well but I've seen lots that work pretty much the exact same. It looks so good in here, all those little feet marks from coming out of the shower are gone and my bathroom is sparkly and shiny. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. When I deep clean my bathroom, I hope you learned a few tips and tricks that you'll try in your house. And if you have tips or tricks that work for you to get your bathroom clean faster and stay clean, I wanna hear them. So please let me know in the comments below all your best deep cleaning bathroom tricks. I love hearing your comments and I love hearing about your progress. I hope you have a wonderful week. Take care everyone, bye bye.